Good, Good morning. morning from Ocean Key. I think we're here. We think so. We, <laughs> we can't see out yet, but we're gonna grab some breakfast mm -hmm. up in the restaurant. Um, go ashore. Yeah. And have some fun. Hopefully, it's nice and calm and True. lots of snorkeling will be had, and we'll show you the menu at the restaurant. All that fun stuff. So yeah. That's right. Yacht club stuff today. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's roll. <laughs> We've got pastries and things as you come in too. Wow. Guys, we are here. There is the view off the front and look at that telltale lighthouse. We've got the Yacht Club breakfast menu, which is a little bit different than the other breakfast menu. Oh, we got some water coming in. Oh, we've got the cute selection of jellies too. Gather our belongings. We are ready to head down to deck four. We've chosen the forward gangway. Uh huh. Perfect. We are back. You hear the steel drums already. Oop, a little foggy on the camera. Well, we do have some waves today. Sunset Beach on the other side was looking a little rough this morning, but we should be able to head up here to the Yacht Club golf cart area. Roll over that way. So we will turn right from this area toward the delightful steel drum music. Waves are lighthouse, okay. So lighthouse and sunset are not looking too good today. Past the old smiling fish, staff housing, get the old buffet ready for the day. Right over here toward Ocean House. Yeah, a little wiggly over at Ocean House Beach. Yep, here we are. Ocean House Restaurant is where we will pick up the tram eventually again. Okay, oh man. So it is, oh, let me try to block the wind. It is green flagged over here. It was yellow flagged at Lighthouse Beach today, which, ooh, that's telling you something. You can the lagoon side. Yeah, the lagoon is smooth as anything. All right, we're gonna grab some towels here at the kind of roughy, roughy beach. I forget the names for all of them. I'll have to look them up and then head over to a calmer beach. Yeah, they got restrooms right there. Yeah, I think the beach we just got towels is actually called Ocean House Beach. Um, now this one, which is open water, not the lagoon, on this side of the island is looking pretty good. So between this and the lagoon, that might be our calm water for today. There was decent snorkeling last time too. Yeah, this is where that remora decided it really loved my leg. <laughs> yeah. Ah uh, yes, this is the little sort of heblier coastline over here. Look at that water though. Crikey, it's the elusive sandfish, the neon sandfish. So we have gone non-water shoe mode today. This beach is not terrible at getting in actually if you don't want to have the water shoes. Ooh, refresh on the feet. <laughs> Yeah, a little chilly out here. We saw a big gray fish. Oh, he's on the surface of the water over there. Why are you gray fish? You don't look like a needlefish. Whoa, she went for it. All right, our, our gray friend has gone off way over there, so he will remain a mystery. <laughs> oh. Now we'll institute our Chili calm beach spin as D goes burr over there. I'm over my head already. This one gets pretty deep pretty fast. There's, I mean, there's a nice little slope to it, but you know, you get 150 feet off the thing and you're over your head and I'm 6'5", so that's saying right. something. Our goal, of course, is to get down to the rock wall where all the snorks were last time. I think we were here in October last time and it was like jellyfishish, but not in um, March. No jellyfishish. Yeah, I keep seeing darker parts out there. Apparently that's just kind of like deeper water drop off. So um, I'm not gonna swim toward those. I'll kind of stay up here toward the shore. Watch the sides of anger. Like a whole big family. Okay. 
Well, as we approach the rock wall on the far end, I see a strange looking fish coming our way. Cry, <laughs> it's a yellow face fish. It might be a mermaid, we'll have to find out. <laughs> It was a mermaid. All right, hey. what's your update, mermaid? Um, so fish over there by the rock wall, per usual. No remorse this time, but oh. a lovely large family of sergeant majors, nice. little teeny tiny babies and juveniles and parents and all that. Um, if you go around the other side, there are some larger, I guess a grouper. Grouper have the spot, is that correct? Sure, I'm I a fish know. expert. But um, it's pretty clear over there, not bad. And then there was another family that was like teaching their kids to snorkel. So I'm giving them their space and letting them nice. look at all the fish. Uh, but that's really all the fish I've seen over here. Last time there was like stingrays and things like that. So you just never know. Mm -hmm. But this is the nice calm beach today. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. you never know when the wild behind me and leaf fish oh, is gonna Lord. come out. Look out, this, it's a double. I it's can see a mama that behind and a baby. the camera so that did not scare me. <laughs> it's got a baby though. It's very defensive Aww. with the baby. It's cute, I'll just talk to it. Oh. Hello. I like you now. <laughs> yeah. You're a goober. <laughs> I'm going out to the dark part. You're going out to the dark part? All right, snorkel ma'am. I don't want to. You you don't want to? So I mean, I can't see it. Well, you're being dragged out against your will uh, to the dark part? Whoa. <laughs> Come back. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I'm easy to get this. No. Like, look at rocks on the ground. Little rocks on the ground. This is the snorkel translation part of the video. There is some grass. There is some grass. So, so turtles could come up That's here. true, them turtles. Hey, hey. I want to see a stingray. Yeah, a stingray would be nice. See, instead of directly translating, I'll just reply back and people can be like, oh, I understood what she said. <laughs> There's like little peons. There's little peons. <laughs> tea, tea worms. Tea worms. Sea worms? Oh, well, well, sea worms. I don't know. I mean, I see them. <laughs> I don't know if this is a thing. Sea worms, y'all. Yeah. Sea worms. Okay. I don't want to see worms. Let's, um, don't be here. Ooh, we were going back up to get our stuff because we've been over here for about an hour and there's a very friend in the water. Well, we decided to go right past our stuff, make our way down to this far rock wall, which I don't know that we actually have ever been to. This is the one closest to Ocean House. Let's see if we see any stuff. I mean, I see some rocks. This place rocks. That's a big one too. Whoa, big shark just came up actually over there and a turtle. So oh, we've had all kinds of excitement. Thank you. I wonder what kind of shark it is. I'm not gonna chase the shark. Nah, we were trying to go out and see the turtle, but you can see the lump out there that's a shark. Wow, y'all, this is exciting all of a sudden. Where is it? Our day just got crazy. Whoa, <laughs> guys, this is the most exciting. Yeah, there was a, a, there's a lady and a staffer up here that were doing some spotting in the water. And they were like, oh, a big turtle. And it was a big headed turtle too. I was excited for it. And then all of a sudden she's like, um, the shark is coming back. I'm like, what you mean the shark is coming back? I mean, generally how we go chase and yeah. like, turtle, I don't know what kind of shark. No, I don't either. It, ha it had the look, oh, I see the turtle over there. Um, oh, hey, puffy turtle. Come over, go quick, quick. Anyway. Oh, his head just popped up and he went pop. I can't see um, the glass. It looked, had the shape of maybe like a large nurse sharky thing. Well, they're nice. But it was definitely on the move and it was probably the largest one I've seen. So, you know, we're gonna exercise caution. Turtle, stop teasing us. Yeah. He's right there. Oh, Stinking turtle. Know. Little turtle is right out here between, there's a lady floating here. And of course the last place I saw the shark was um, on the other side of that lady. I turtle. Really want to yell at no, no, I don't want it either. I think it's okay. Yeah, turtle is right there beside her on her mat. Holy crap, oh, he just poofed his head up again. Stop telling you that. Okay, he's not poofing his head up at all. He's a very active little turtle. Oh my gosh, he flipped his flapper. Yep, he just flipped his arm up in the air. He is really active, but you know what? He's close to a shark, so. Oh, and our spotter lady and the other person are gone now. So they've left uh, the position on top of the rocks. Okay, he is really moving his head up a lot out there. 
I mean, I, I know I'm not supposed to tell you that. Yeah, hopefully it's not like Wild Kingdom out there with a shark. Oh, I hear people on the beach going sharks over there. Okay, so yeah, they're they're seeing them. Oh, we got some stingray excitement now. All right, let's send snorkel D. It's a turtle. Oh, it is a turtle. Oh, y'all, this turtle, yeah, he um came real close. This might be the same turtle that we saw earlier. Oh, yeah, it's one of That's a big one. Don't lead us back out to the shark turtle. That's all we ask. <laughs> Don't. I think I think the shark and the turtle are in cahoots. Oh, I think we've got our shark friend back. Oh, he's swimming off. Just kind of made a quick no, little pass and looked. No, I couldn't no. get close enough to see it. I'm not gonna go chasing after. A no, shark. I don't really want to chase the shark. <laughs> right. A turtle, I'll go say hey. <laughs> well, here comes this shape again. Yeah, that's definitely shark shape. Yeah, that that is shark shape. Well, this lady's gonna see if she can get a peek at him. Oh, it's just making circles. It's just making the loop. It's faster than we are. Oh, we've got a little shadow right there. Ray. Ray. Okay. Where'd it go? That's just straight ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, he's making his way out. The guys, these animals are fast today. Yo, I thought this was a giant tail stingray under the water, but it's just a, it's a mass of rope. So I think we're going to jump out, maybe try to go get a bird's eye view on this water because we haven't seen our friends in a while, but interesting stuff is definitely happening. Yeah. Oh, there is the lagoon view from our side looking over to the ship. I think we're going to head back toward the Ocean House restaurant. This is the area by the cabanas and the folks that were doing the spotting for us earlier were standing up on these rocks looking out at all this water. I see that little, there's a wind, that little cluster of rope over there too that we walked by that looked like a stingray. Oh, no nature spotting's right here. Let's do some peeking over on the other side. Ooh, my shirt is flapping in the breeze. You can get all the good views over here. Seems quiet on the nature front though. All right, oh, there's a shower over here by the cabanas. Let's see if we can make our windy way over to Ocean House right there. Oh yeah, we are just after 12 o'clock. It is popular lunch time, of course. Welcome officially to Ocean House Restaurant. And we are gonna be dining out here, ooh, al fresco. Let us see if we can do an examination of the menu. It is real, real windy. Um, all right, y'all read this as best we can. Right, starters, main courses, sweets. They got their whole cocktail side over here, of What's course. The heaviest cocktail that won't blow around. Yeah, yeah. We can't order anything <laughs> with like potato chips or French fries or anything that might blow away because um, it windy. Very windy. Well, we got some water, and then we decided to get some frozen strawberry margaritas. I thought they were going to be in it, like a, you know, well, this is a margarita glass, to be fair. Yeah, right? you had sound logic in that a drink that was blended might have more weight to it as you drink it, but it or also has more like. But it's a very, yeah, it's a top heavy glass. So, whoops. Yum, 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 yum. At least you look good. Oh. D has decided to start with the ceviche. <laughs> like holding it down ooh, just to see. I got the Ocean Key salad. I mean, it sounded good. Oh, okay. Interestingly enough, the condiment of choice on the table is balsamic vinegar. Hmm. I don't know what I'll put it on, but it's cute. <laughs> uh, Andres have arrived. Dee has gone with the mahi mahi. Yum. I got the lobster roll, which is what I got last time we were here. And I got the carne asada, which I think is what Dee got last time we were here. So, hey, I had a salad as an appetizer. So, uh, making up for it. It's dessert time. And Dee has gone with a mango cheesecake. It looks good. Yeah, yeah. I got the uh, chocolate cake. Also looks good. Whew, I don't think we're gonna go course by course for lunch, but that was a solid oh, lunch. The steak was tender, my lobster was delicious, that chocolate cake with the coffee sauce. Dee loved her cheesecake. Delicious, yeah. All right, not a bad bite in the bonus, I tell you. Even in the wind, it all stayed on the plate. <laughs> Even in the wind. Y'all, bye. <laughs> Now it is time for some wandering. We might go peek at the lagoon again. It's only about 1.30, what the heck. Actually, we'll take a peek at this Ocean House beach. Waves don't seem as bad as they were earlier. 
Yeah, I've never noticed a sign here that says Yacht Club members only. I guess signifying that the like the Ocean House Restaurant, Ocean House Beach are Yacht Club exclusive. But this whole area out here, I feel like they might have opened it up to everybody. Which is cool because if it's wavy on one side, it's calm on the other, so then people can come swim here. That's where sharks and turtles are. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because my impression of this beach originally was that this was also just a yacht club side and no, the I yacht like club. That it's open. Right, had half of the lagoon, and I don't think that's a thing anymore, judging by the signage. Yeah. So, and the lines at the bars also would tell you that. Oh, they're very long, yeah. Three day cruise. Welcome to the lagoon. Yeah, back when we were here on Armonia in 2020, I remember you were not allowed to come to this side because Armonia did not have Yacht Club and nobody could be over here. But I feel like they're just letting folks just do what they want right now. So well, there's cabanas to rent on this side. True. And on the other side. It's definitely less crowded over here. And actually the lagoon is not as swamped on that side as I would have thought unless people have already gotten back on the ship after lunch. Yeah, let's follow this path back over to Ocean House Restaurant. I think we will catch a golf cart and head back shipward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the backward seat. Check out all these views. A lot of people don't like riding backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we see any nature out there, Crikey. Ah, yeah. Yes, there's the snack shack with the pay options, including the Lobster Mac. There's the beach shacks with the free food. So there's two different kinds of uh, snack shacks, as it were, on here. Sunset, definitely still wavy. Yep, that's the big ones. Ooh, big waves at the lighthouse, also confirmed. Oh, hey, little garage door. Look at that. That's the most it's definitely still yellow flagged at Lighthouse. Ooh. Welcome back to the transport pavilion. And a tree. And a big blue building. Oh, he's taking us right to the ship. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you. All right, we are good to go. They've got both gangways open, so we're going to go up to the front since that is closer to our home, technically. Home sweet home. <laughs> Guys, I do it in the wrong part every time. All right, let's let you do it. There we go. I did it. I did it. Good, Good evening. evening. Welcome to fresh and clean yeah. evening mode. Um, we are back on board. Mm -hmm. Got a couple hours till dinner, so we're gonna chill out and kill some time. Like um, two and a half or so. Tell me about your nature field day on Ocean Key. <laughs> Today was pretty crazy. So we were about to get out of the water, and then somebody from above's like, "Oh, there's a turtle." And there's that shark again, so we're just like, what yeah, in yeah, the world? I don't know how it came out on camera. I know the turtle footage I did capture. Yeah. The biggest turtle I have ever seen. Um, the shark was probably at least six foot. Yeah, I got a shadow of the yeah. shark, which you've already seen. It was really point. cloudy underwater. You literally could not see. To sw and I wasn't going to go swim up to an unknown shark. Yeah, Sorry, no. guys. That's just not my thing. What are we, Jacques Cousteau? This ain't no nature underwater <laughs> It was like if I knew it was a nurse shark, it'd be all right. But if it was like a tiger shark... I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, it was cool. It wasn't there to hurt anybody. Just kind of like doing its thing. And then there was a stingray also. I don't know if we saw that. But um, it, Not really. Yeah. I think I got a very vague shadow <laughs> of it from over. But it's cool because their project is to bring the reef back. And it's definitely working if that many things are like hanging out right there in the non-wavy part. Lunch was fantastic. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have a bad bite at lunch. No complaints. Even in the wind, it was still really good. <laughs> It was an adventure today, and I will say service that. has been phenomenal. So, yeah. yeah really yeah. enjoying this three days so far. Oh, this is day two already. I know. <laughs> so, let's it's go fun. chill out. Top mm -hmm. sale lounge, I guess. Yeah. Just hang out and wait for dinner. Sounds good. Just wait to eat more food, right? <laughs> eh, that's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Let's go through this wondrous door of <laughs> magical loungeness. Very bright. Oh, I guess they've got the tea time going. I forgot about that being a daily occurrence. Let's see, scones are kind of gone. We got fruit tarts, bread things with toppings. Very nice. Well, I went up and grabbed us some snacks. We're not having tea right now, but we can enjoy some sandwiches. Sure. Here we can look at all this ocean and try to find nature. Well, it's very glary over there to look for nature. 
time to climb the shiny stairs. Alright, oh yeah, let's use the washy washy sinks. Footage. Yeah, this is good. And the Guys, there's a big block of blue cheese right there. I could just eat it. I could eat it all. Oh. There are the bread choices. They brought around a whole bucket full for us to choose from. Warm bread. There's our dinner menu. Let's just do it as a picture because I think that works a lot better. Boom. Come back to the top sale lounge now. It's ooh, an hour or so. Oh, the party! Yeah, it's an hour and so till the uh, party on the show. I know we're gonna try to get a good angle. I mean, this looks like a pretty good angle. Yeah. On the lighthouse show from up here. It is still lady out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best lit I have been on this whole ship. Look at this. Are you gonna come be well lit too? Ooh. Kinda. Not to complain, the lights in the rooms are just I mean, it's all weird. spotlights. It's like but... can spotlights. In both sections. This is where you will be if we need you. That's not how that goes. This is where we're going to be if you need us. <laughs> um, yeah, just waiting for the show. We're not going to hear the music, but I'll pick something. We'll sing some songs. If they pump it in here, that'll be awesome, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, so, that'd be cool. Nah. I don't think they do. We'll, that, right? I'll do some royalty-free something or others. So this is the same one that we watched on the dome last week, and we've seen it before actually out from the beach. Nice. Yeah. But it's top sale time now. <laughs> Exciting. Now, since we've got the drink package on here, we've decided to do some experimenting. We're not, you know, necessarily broadcasting all the experimenting, but Dee has never been a red wine person, so we're like, you know no. what? We could use this as an opportunity for you to explore red wine. So I asked Patricia which one was the best, and she said Pinot Noir. So I looked up on Google what it tastes like, and it says it should have hints of cherry, raspberry, mushroom, the forest floor. Yum. <laughs> Vanilla and baking spices when it's aged in French oak. I mean, some of that I can understand, but like, I'm not licking the forest floor. They just really. snuck that in there it's between like some cherry moss? I don't know. and some vanilla. I'm um, curious to try it. I don't know if it'll give me a headache, because sometimes the tannins give me headaches, but um, we're trying it, because I do like less sweet stuff in general now, so maybe I'll enjoy it. Yeah. The forest floor. Mm. <laughs> I can't get over that. Just drink some dirt. I'm not I'm not joining your red wine journey. Uh, mushroom too, that's a little weird. I'll let you guys know how it is though. Mm. <laughs> weird. First impressions. It's red and it's wine. It's a light bodied wine though, so it's not like as strong, I think. And they say it's good for beginner red wine drinkers. Forest floor. Alright, I'm excited for it. it. Smells very red. Well, yeah. I'm such not a white person. <laughs> We're not into dry. Do you do this? Yeah, yeah. You talk, you swirl it. You talk about body and legs and. Um, I don't see any legs other than notes. the glass. Uh huh. There's notes. That's a stem, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get with it. It smells red. Uh huh. <laughs> any notes of undertones or? Strong. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, um, I'm just gonna try. Okay. Oh, 
So I can handle that. You, you aerated in your mouth. It tastes a little bit cherry, like a deep, deep cherry. Like that's not bad, actually. A cherry that fell on the forest floor? Yeah, and you licked the moss. Mm -hmm. No, actually, that's good. Um, I think I can handle that. It's not sweet at all, but that's okay, because I'm used to things that aren't. Like me. So. I'm not sweet at all. Stop. You're very sweet. No, I think that's good. Okay. If you guys drink red wine, what do you drink? Like this or something? Some else? Cabernet Sauvignon, some Shiraz. Not Chiraz. that I'm gonna become like a wine connoisseur by any means, some but mellow. I'll try it because I've already paid for it. So we'll see. That's true. <laughs> Getting all geared up for the party. I see they've got their little fire pits rolling. It is lighthouse show time. I had a genius idea. What? I'm just gonna use the music from when we watched it in the Galleria last cruise. He's very smart. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> into the world. Welcome back to deck seven. We might hop into the pub again for a little while. to just outside the pub in this beautiful little walkway here overlooking uh whoa look at all this banding but oh my gosh the party has moved out here apparently yeah, look, I, I just started talking about it being quiet and everybody's like hoop hoop <laughs> well we're getting ready to have the second lighthouse show projected on the dome they've got all the tropical stuff going on because it is tropical party night inside here down on deck six MSC on air. All right, it's gonna be upside down as we learned before, but I'll flip it in editing. We can do it.
it is almost time for the tropical party. We are still chilling out here up on the edge of oh, the outside area of the pub, I guess, as it were. And the party will be down there. Ooh, look at this flickery flickery. What is the first tropical song that they are going to play, I wonder? I'm gonna say like, hot, hot, hot. Oh no, that sounds like some Latin tropical party. All right. Can he do it on the first try? Yeah, oh he baby, he can be taught. Man, they got chocolate covered strawberries. He said he's got more he can put out here. What is this brie with uh, jam? I hear piano music happening. They've also got dates and stuff down here. We have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow. Guess what? Ocean Key Part 2 and 2 of the Pistachio Chocolates. They're giant. They are. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. Gosh, we look different. I know, right? Y'all, it is totally the end of the night, so let's wrap up what the heck has been going on. Okay. What have we got to talk about? Hmm. Um... We don't know. No. We, dinner, of course. But that will come that, later. That's last. That's later. We went out. Uh, we saw the lighthouse show yeah. from the Top Sail Lounge, which is really cool. But they do not pump the music in, no. so it's just visual. But Jay's going to do some magic yeah, editing. It's, it's very um, you will sort of seen stagnant that. if you're just sitting in there yeah. with no music. But it's still a cool show. Yeah. I will say we went back to the Brass the Anchor pub. pub. Chris from South Africa yeah. is the guitarist in there. He is phenomenal and has quite the fan club this week. Mm, hey, oh. He, he can wail on that. And it's he acoustic just, guitar. He's yeah, so good. Just whittly, 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 <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So we really enjoyed going there and like mm -hmm. hanging out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's about it. Really. Yeah, then we saw the Dome show for yes. the second version of whatever. But yeah. True. All right, well, let's jump to dinner time in the ding dong, ding dong dinner. No, no. just kidding. All right, so starting off with your niçoise or what they call French, French style salad. salad. So good. Very flavorful. It was like flake tuna rather than a tuna steak, but I think mm. it was it lended itself better for like being on a fork for the salad. No, Not no complaints. True. And the bowl was good. Yeah, very <laughs> easy to mix week. around and yeah. all of that. Um, I had the fish soup, which was really good. There wasn't a lot of fish in it, to be honest. It was potatoes, carrots, and probably fishy broth, but there was a couple of chunks of fish soup, so I would have liked more fish. But it had a good flavor and it was seasoned well. Then I had, let's see, did you do a second hand? No. <gasps> I had the risotto. Now it was oyster risotto and it did have oysters in it and tasted of oyster, but it was not overly in your face oyster. So it was creamy and kind of delicate. It was on the healthy menu. Yeah. Which I'm still not sure. That's that a works. lot of rice to be healthy, but you know what? I'll go with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm healthy, y'all. But again, seasoned well. I put a little pepper on it because I love pepper on everything. Uh, yeah, good there. Um, you had your pasta dish. Yeah, I don't know what it was called. It was a pesto mm. pasta, like roll-up kind of thing with speck, which is kind of like a, a salty ham. Mm -hmm. It was good. It's um, like four or five pieces, so it's not a huge dish, but it was still very filling and had really good flavor, perfectly al dente. True, and then I had the little veggie sweet potato Swiss chard Jamaican patty pockets or whatever you Ooh. want to call them. And they were good. Um, I did, we just keep saying everything was good. But, you it know, was. the flavors are good. Yeah. I don't really know how to say what a sweet potato and a Swiss chard tastes like other than good. <laughs> so I would order it again. They were, they could have been maybe just like a little bit crispier, but that's a technical thing. Mm. They were perfectly fine crispy. <laughs> Uh, let's go to your dessert, which was the rice pudding. Arroz con leche. So it was on the healthy menu once again, but it's rice. Uh, I think it's just rice. no sugar added, but yeah. I love rice pudding. It had that really yummy cinnamony flavor. No raisins in it or anything, but it mm. has that creamy texture, and you knew it was dessert, but it wasn't ultra, you know, ultimately sweet, so it was really perfect. Yeah, and I got good. cheese. <laughs> all I got was cheese. Oh, no, wait. 
I got two desserts, y'all. I got <laughs> rum cake. Let's talk about the rum cake first. It was um moist. It tasted very much of rum, which I like in a rum cake. Mm. Chocolate on top, nice and dark and good. Coconut ice cream. Now you tried the coconut it ice cream with me. Coconut flakes in it. Ooh. It was delicious. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Everything about that was good. Um, and then I had cheese because you know what? Cheese. And he brought me extra blue. No. <laughs> okay. So you know. Solid. It's meal. good. I'm giving it like a. I'll give it like eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Eight. Eight point seven five. Yeah. Me too. It's good. Y'all. Good night. Good night. We are totally going. Oh, to I bed. forgot we're still talking about um, last night. And we will see you in the morning. Yeah. And we might look just like this. So. Yeah. Good night. Stay tuned. <laughs>